106.5 WSFL, your home for John Boy and Billy in the morning, best rock. All day, Ozzy, over the mountain, and I don't know, on a two for Tuesday. A Tuesday where ESPN now has had to spend this week apologizing because uh, they covered the Sugar Bowl over New Year's weekend. And unfortunately, they made the ill-advised decision as the game was in New Orleans to go to a live shot of Bourbon Street. Now, you know what happens on Bourbon Street. Well, yeah, bourbon, but... On top of that, uh, people tend to expose themselves, which uh, a lady did very briefly. Blink it and you'll miss it, which, and I do exhaustive research before I come in here every day. I had to take one for the team and track down the video. Very brief, very brief. And it wasn't even full uh, bazoom exposure. It was like, uh, you ever uh, see uh, somebody that's like run over a, a construction cone, like an orange construction cone? It's kind of like flat, but pointy still. That's what this looked like, except it was pointed up. Just ve very brief. Very brief. And I still I can understand why they're upset at ESPN for having done this. They're owned by Disney, but even Disney has a storied history with uh, nipples. I mean, if you've ever seen The Little Mermaid, I've seen it once. And Ariel's father, uh, King Triton, has no shirt on the entire movie. He has gigantic nipples in The Little Mermaid. I, I've only seen the movie once, and it still gives me chills. Just thinking about it, so I remain traumatized. It's Boston on a two for Tuesday. 106.5 WSFL.